We've had some active weather all across the upper Midwest today here in southeast Minnesota. Some thunder sleet, even just some ordinary thunderstorms uh, today. Here was a screenshot I grabbed uh, from our Weather Authority mobile app, and we can see the little lightning bolts there near Albert Lee uh, and uh, just south there of Charles City, where we had more rainfall in northern Iowa. Had reports today, Austin, Wyckoff, Orinoco, Zambroda, Pine Island, all reports of thunder today. So yes, some thunder sleet. That's why I wanted to grab that uh, quick screen grab there today to kind of show you some of those little lightning bolts that we had with that wintry mix and even some convective elements uh, to it, which would be thunderstorms. Remember, you can download that free KTC Weather Authority mobile app. All you have to do is scan that right there. We have live road conditions there. We have a layer that you can put on that will show you uh, road conditions, estimated road conditions, and then we also post updates there too with uh, that uh, 511 map that uh, we can generate and put that on the weather app too to always keep you up to date with those live road conditions. Here's what the roads looked like earlier today. This was in rural Dodge County, and I think this is a good depiction of what roads especially rural areas will look like those secondary roadways coming up uh, tomorrow. That was from Peter again out in uh, rural Dodge County, and we can see the slushiness uh, of that uh, roadway. And with temperatures dropping here maybe tonight and extending through the day tomorrow, we could still have some of those icy conditions. And it's hard to see ice compared to maybe snow on the roads. Right now, a lot of green on the maps, which is great. That's indication of just some normal travel conditions. But we still have some purples and blues closer towards the cities and out to the west. Wouldn't be surprised if we're partially covered through most of the day tomorrow if we start to see that snowfall yet again. Some of the weather alerts that we have, winter weather advisories in place, good hue count right along I-35. That's in effect until 6 o'clock coming up tomorrow night. Areas in purple, maybe about 2 to 4 inches of snowfall yet to come through the day on Wednesday and then into early Thursday. Right now we have some minor mixing up towards the city. Cities and some light snowfall off to the west of I-35. Now not showing on radar. We still have some drizzle and some raindrops making it down to the ground. Here out on the weather patio, we'll still, we still have some light drizzle. Heavy snowfall well to the north at this point in time, but expecting some snowfall by Wednesday extending into Thursday. And notice we just missed out on some really heavy snowfall. We look at uh, some snowfall reports news uh, near Sioux Falls, 15 to 22 inches of snow up towards the cities, about 5 to 7. Here at home, it picks up as snowfall, but we had sleet accumulations today, maybe about an inch to an inch and a half with some of that slushy accumulation that we had all across southeast Minnesota and northeast Iowa. So at last check, we had a rainfall precip amount, so liquid precipitation at RST of one inch. Now in general, our conversion rate from liquid to then snowfall is a 10 to 1 ratio. So that means for every one inch of liquid precipitation equals 10 inches of snowfall. So could you only imagine if we had temperatures maybe two to three degrees cooler and we were at about 28, 29 degrees, we could have been looking at a lot of heavy snowfall instead of that wintry mix that we had today. We look ahead here the rest of the night. So we'll see the chance for that rain snow mix through probably early Wednesday morning. And then as temperatures drop, we'll switch over to some snowfall throughout the rest of the day on Wednesday and into Thursday. There's that chance for snow, that rain snow mix overnight. If we get temperatures to drop, then We'll have uh, snowfall throughout the day. And notice maybe a couple heavier bands of snow right where we have those winter weather advisories through the day on Wednesday. Snowfall amounts, I think, all the way through Thursday. A lot of areas in dark blue, maybe about two to three inches of snow. I think area wide about one to four will be possible. That's all the way through Thursday. Outside right now, we have the light drizzle there on our Lewis and Nata live camera. Temperatures here tonight, 31 for the low. We'll have the chance for some slick roads here tonight. Temperatures tomorrow, 32 for the high, changing to snow throughout the day. Your seven day forecast, 22 for the high Friday. Low 20s continue Saturday and Sunday.